Dragonflies flies inhabit sub-Sahara Africa where they cause diseases because they transmit parasitic trypanosomes, African trypanosomes. These diseases cause devastating impact uh, for public health as well as for animals. The disease affects people who live in the poorest, hardest to reach areas and uh, the diseases have been cyclical. The last epidemic which ended in 2010 we think has caused at least a half a million deaths in Sub-Sahara. So tsetse flies, as you will hear, because of their reproductive low capacity, are difficult to colonize, and there are very few facilities where they maintain breeding colonies of tsetse flies. We have the only one in North America. Uh, we have approximately two to 3,000 breeding female flies at any given time, and we divide the colony into the the reproductive females over there, which are giving birth to offspring, and then the mating flies over, over on this side of the, of the colony. To the common eye, it's about the size of a house fly. Uh, many people think it's like Drosophila, like a fruit fly, and they're surprised to see how, how large it is. But it's very unique because it feeds exclusively on vertebrate blood. So unlike some other insect disease vectors like mosquitoes where <clears throat> they'll feed on nectar, for example, as well as blood, tsetse flies feed only on, on vertebrate blood. Well, we try to mimic the natural environment where they're found. So the insectary is nice because you can change any parameter that you want. So we keep it at approximately 25 degrees Celsius and about 40% humidity, which is what this, you would This uh, facility allows us to do very controlled experiments that wouldn't be possible uh, with flies in the field uh, to research different aspects of their physiology, of their reproduction, uh, feeding, immunity, um, symbiont fly interactions, parasite fly interactions. Um, the insectary allows us to do experiments with large numbers of flies that are kind of they're synchronized so that we get good kind of statistically powerful studies. So this is a difficult disease to diagnose because the early stages of the disease resembles many of other diseases that are endemic in that area such as malaria, various viral uh, diseases cause similar symptoms and there are no easy diagnostic tools to detect this disease. Uh, and furthermore, the drugs uh, are very difficult to deliver, are expensive to give, They're, they've been donated, we're very lucky, by pharmaceuticals uh, at this current stage to help uh, us deal with the latest epidemic.